<laughs> yeah. Bobby, okay. Stand by, please. Here we okay. go. Okay. Three, two, one, and speed. Well, Sly, I always look forward to seeing you. We've had some fun interviews and... Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, and uh, now we're here to talk about Over the Top, which I found to be a very heartwarming story. Yeah, and uh, I hope that all these people who have been yelling about violence in movies and etc., I hope they'll put their money where their mouths are. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Well, you know, violence in movies, it's... Unfortunately, they're just movies are a reflection of society, and I wish there was just less violence in society. So, uh, I tend to make movies that have a little bit of a contemporary feel, and I just wish you know the world was one big passive ball of happiness, but it isn't. So, this movie, uh, of course, if we take Rambo and Rocky, they're pre-sold, aren't they? Really, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this over the top. Mm -hmm. arm wrestling little boy do you think this is a, a greater risk or are you more oh, concerned sure. well I'm concerned that it, it gets a fair chance yes absolutely when you when you enter a new character new product new anything you really do want to have the best shot so there's nothing like taking it to the streets and, and talking about it and that way we at least you can hear it from my mouth that I do endorse it and believe in it so yes it's always very high risk David Mendenhall, fine little actor. Really? Yes, and a wonderful relationship mm. between the two of you on screen. What about your own boys? Have they seen this movie? Yes, but I'm my son's least favorite actor, so <laughs> it doesn't count. No, he likes it a lot. He does. He really thinks it's a lot of fun. Plus, he and David were great buddies, and they would hang out on the set constantly. So it was great to take uh, the the father and son relationship of having my kid there and I, and I apply it to David right away because Sage is definitely a rambunctious child so and David is too so back and forth we had a great time. Now the movie is almost like a, a love poem yes. to children. Yes it is. And, and particularly father-son relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It becomes very, very difficult. You know, it's so hard for people to, to make a buck nowadays and, and survive and there's stress and there's uh, the uncertainty of, God, where are we going to go? And automation is taking jobs and so that. And I think it puts a tremendous strain on the relationship at home, especially father son. And I think that if fathers were given a second chance to do things over again, they may approach child rearing in a whole different way. So that's what I, I always gear it towards that. I said, boy, this is great. He gets a second chance to go back and reclaim his lost years with the child. This is his, that's the whole purpose for the movie. The arm wrestling is just the ends to a mean, you know, means to an end, I'm sorry. But the child, the God, I say, oh, if I could just do it one more time. And we all say that. Now, this is what this film is all about. So it has a little bit of magic to it. I know there's going to be Cobra, too. Is there going to be Rocky V? I sure hope so. Um, my now, God. don't start with don't don't start with me again on that. <laughs> Remember when when we did Rocky Three, and I said, "Is there going to be Rocky Four? And you started this thing, and Rocky Four, you had it going on in your head yeah, right then and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so Rocky Five. Now, come on. Yeah, I, I think there is going to be a Rocky Five. I'm I'm really working on the story because I don't know if it can keep winning. I mean, uh, but I think there can be great glory in, in losing too. I just saw a fight the other night that kind of got my wheels spinning. Uh, an actual fight, which is very valiant and and there's something glorious about it so there's a, there's a possibility and yes Cobra Cobra has a lot to do I, I design Cobra as being the, um, the kind of the ultimate judge and jury and, and and I like I like what the character it's still in his nebulous form and I think there's a lot, a lot to go with it so I'm, I'm happy about that okay one last question Every time somebody says, yo, Sly, or yo, Adrian, you want to punch him out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, not punch him out, but sometimes I think, where do you get the nerve, you know, in the middle of church, to go, yo, rock, and the <laughs> priest is up there going, giving the last sacraments, you know. <laughs> it's just, I think the yo is fine, it's just when they place it. Sometimes it's a little odd, you know, in the middle of a quiet hallway in the library, go, yo, Adrian, 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 Adrian. Sometimes I think you got to pick your shots. <laughs> Did you actually write that line or was it ad an ad lib? Oh, no, that's, that's it. Because in Philadelphia, the word yo is used all the time instead of hey. There is no hey. It's yo. Yo. 
And I've never seen a city that uses it more. So being of a yo-yo extraction, I thought it would be very good. So I, again, I've enjoyed it very, very much. I hope the picture does well. It deserves to do well. Oh, thank you I enjoyed it a lot. Right. And I like your outfit. It looks great. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go.